hurts. Shush, little one. Nothing to be done about it now. Get up. I can't. I'm too badly hurt. What are you afraid of? What? <sighs> are you the healer of Broomhead? Go on and stand up. I've closed your wound with my needle and thread, and if the stitches should tear and your blood come gushing out again, what danger there? Just take a step backward. You know you always can. Wait. You were in my dream. That is so. Now stand up. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing to repay you with. My orchid bud. You know well, my gifts are mine to give. I, Hila, I'm forever grateful. I'll remember this always. Those are words to speak under waning moons. Words for a swallow in autumn. But here we can have summer always. A full moon every night. Well, it's daytime now. I think I'm ready to step outside. How are you feeling? Not normal, but I'm all right. She managed to patch you up, despite that, that thing still in your chest. So, you're good to sail? Yeah, we, we can leave for Calabella? I... I don't know if we can even leave this place without her help. But we've got to warn them that the Northlanders are on the march. Uh, warn the Calavellans, I mean. It's only us. Nobody else survived to alert them. Ah, oh, yes. You're right. I'll talk to her. Kipuna, join me at my fire. I think we should go. I'm too grateful for words, but my protector's growing restless because we're in a hurry, and, and I don't really know how long we've been here. Here, on the hidden side, my blossom, time cannot grasp and strangle us as it will in the world outside, though it may pinch, and what grows here is concealed well. So this place is, um, safe? From cruel and stumbling men, yes. But my little home, too, is beset with trouble. What kind of trouble? Come, my spark. You'll get a chance to shine. Look at these little pieces of wood. Can you hear it? The flame. Hear a flame? Yes. The wood is dry as a bone. Inside all things there waits a little dark ember, the sweet marrow. If you let your own fire speak to it, it will come to life in glory. I don't know if I... Kipuna, my blossom, don't dissemble. The Shard has given the secret flame to you, and you have learned in dreaming how to call it forth. It will be no strain to let it roar. Yes. You gave her a magic instrument that blasts fire? That's irresponsible. Quiet man when you see sorcery afoot. The fire just came out of me. Oh, wait, um, are we still in the dream world? No, Blossom, though we are far from the real world as well. The power is in you. The gift of the shard that I helped to bring to light in the dream. But uh, <laughs> she's just a girl. She hasn't been trained in magic, right, Kippener? She needs no training. Her power is the fruit of her fusion with the Shard. Now, quiet! But how did I do that? I've hung these wards on the trees to keep my little house unsullied by Razix. By what? What did she say? Razix. Spirits of despair and shadow from the Northland Myers. As their witch queen has extended her reach, they too have slunk abroad along the cracks in the world shell to places like my hideout here. Evil spirits? 
They can't be harmed by steel alone, but fire will burn them. You want me to go out there and burn these... Razziks? Yes. Their darkness and terror will help you open up and let your fire out. Look at that! What a scarecrow! That's one of them! A Razik. But I'm afraid I almost started a forest fire. You did well. The shrubs and meadows here will grow back. They have all the time outside the world. Oh, I've never seen monsters like that before. I'm afraid there are a few more down the path that leads to my sauna. Well, I'll try not to burn that down. Don't hold back. If you make a mistake, just go back, as you now know how.
Hideout is free again of the Razik stain. I'm happy I could help. To begin, at least a little, to pay you back. That it was. You're ready now, Robin Redbreast, to fly. What do you mean? Can I fly too? I, I think she means that you know, we can go now, right? That is so. The kindly wind has blown your fireweed to my pier. And I've asked her to carry you away. Oh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, thank you, Mom. expect to leave so soon. I mean, I have to, but it's sooner than I thought. You're mostly of the mortal world, and that's the way of it. You're ready when the time comes, and not when you thought you would be. But don't fret, my Blossom. Take my candle and remember me by it. Thank you. Yes, I'm ready. Hey, what's going on, Keepina? We ran into something. I know. That's what I came down to tell you. The boat's stuck. I don't like this. You didn't see anything out there. No, just an abandoned log driving site. 
Whoever's inside that tub, leave all your valuables inside and we'll let you go unharmed. We're relieving you of the boat. Oh no, more bandits. We need to bar the hatch. We can't hold up like a pair of badgers. Don't you fret, just stay here, out of sight, and I'll go teach those curs a lesson. You just told me we can't hide in the boat. Don't leave me here alone. What if we just ran away? We've got you surrounded. With plenty of crossbow bolts to go around if you try anything. We're not giving up this boat. If you won't hide in here, then, uh, you know, just stay close. Try to use that fire magic. Maybe it'll scare them. But run if they get near you, and dodge if you see them pointing their crossbows your way. Right. All right. They won't be expecting an attack like that. Out you come now! I'm giving you to the count of five, and then we shoot! That's it! One fat geezer! All right, take your daughter and walk, and drop the hammer while you're at it. I'll drop it right on your head. You want it spiked first, or the old-fashioned way? The old man's gone mad. Get him. Did you see that? Wow. Yeah. It would have gone a fair bit worse without you, I can tell you that much. The magic. Looks like it works just as well here as it did at the healer's cabin. I'm sure Anthea and the law keeps of Calavalla can explain it when we get there. Now, we need to see about getting the boat moving again.
Looks like there are buildings up ahead, and more bandits, I'm willing to bet.
Look at this! Guests! Out here, we hack guests to pieces. There's been loggers on this street for ages. I never knew any of them, but I can remember seeing men and women working here when I was passing by. All in ruins now. War does that. Definitely not the first ones to get ambushed here. Yeah, they've pulled in a few big holes, looks like. Look at that. A Northlander machine of some sort. So far south. You think these bandits are in league with the Northlanders? Most likely the Northlanders just drifted into the same trap we did. Can't have been too many of them, though, for these stumbling fools to have gotten the better of them. There's a lot of weight pressing on those supporting logs. It's gonna take some time to break this down with the hammer. Yeah, it's a lot of wood. Could we burn it? Or blow it up? Not a bad idea. Let's see if we can find something we can use. James cleared. Great. We're free to sail off now. You see those three logs sticking up on the other side? Knocking those down might release the rest of the log jam. We need to get over there first. Yeah, I can't reach them from here. Thank you. 
You know, you've got good nerves in a tight spot. They might have a place for you in the army. You're gifted with magic, that's clear. They could make you into a real warrior shaman. I don't know about that. I don't want to do any more fighting. I've got a cousin over in Cape Farflung who might take me in. As soon as they take this shard out and heal me. Yeah, uh, let, let, let's just try to get the Calabella. Take it one step at a time, eh? Yeah, like the healer said, one step at a time. Ha, 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 ha.